Hey guys, it's Jake. Today I will show you how you can remove this iPhone lock to owner message from any kind of iPhone and also any kind of iOS version. What you're gonna need is a device with a web browser. I'm using this Android tablet, but you can use a computer or a phone. It doesn't matter. You just have to type in locktoowner.com into Google or your browser and you land here. Over here, scroll down and select I have an iPhone. Now it's gonna load the page. Make sure that you have your iPhone ready and connected to Wi-Fi. Now enter your name. That's all you really have to do and tap the next button. Over here, take your phone, wake it, and then you see an eye on the bottom right. Over there you have SN and IMEI. Select IMEI and enter it. After you made sure that the information is matching, create unlock order. And over here, tap the next. Okay, very well. Let me quickly download the login ID. All the information I need is in this video. So I'm gonna be right with you. Okay, I finished signing up. As you can see here, I finished signing up to the free membership and the your login ID.txt file is now showing. I'm gonna take the login ID and enter it into the iPhone, make sure everything is correct. And then on the password, enter the same thing, type in exactly the same password so you don't do any typos or mess anything up. And yeah, basically just entered exactly like that. Um, signing up was super quick and completely free of charge and it's very easy to do. Just tap the next button on the top right on your iPhone log to owner screen and then wait for the information to be sent to the server. And right now it's loading and as you can see now it's showing the data and privacy screen. Uh, set up later and on passcode options, don't use passcode and don't use and then don't transfer apps and data and forgot password and set up later in settings and tap don't use. Basically what you want to do now is skip through the setup and make sure that no information is going to be attached because we only want to test the device for functionality. That's a very um, easy step and once you're done you can reset the device again and there will be no lock forever on this device even if you update. As you see now it says sign in and there is no Apple ID. You can create your own one if you uh, like but what I recommend is resetting the device at this point. Um, yeah, it's super easy. You can do whatever you like now with the device.